very pleased on behalf of this nation to formally accept you as a brother, a son of this land, by giving you this, handing over to you the diplomatic passport. This is a great opportunity for Sierra Leone because Mr. Elba has been one of the global icons in Hollywood but also globally. The fact that he has been accorded the citizenship of Sierra Leone is a great opportunity to support His Excellency the President to promote and rebrand Sierra Leone. Can you imagine? Mr. Elba's name attached to Sierra Dio. We all know that Idris Elba is a world icon. He's somebody who the globe, the rest of the world, is jarring towards. So him coming to Sierra Leone and him coming to claim his citizenship in Sierra Leone is saying Sierra Leone is also going to be number one when it comes to what he does, when it comes to what, the kinds of businesses he conducts, and then also he's going to be our voice. This is an honor for our family. My dad and my uncle left Sierra Leone in the late 60s, early 70s. They came to London with two bags and a prayer. My mom, who is unfortunate, she couldn't be with us today, but she's in London. My mom had me and in 72. My mom and my dad worked for 25 years, nearly 30 years, without being able to afford to bring me to Sierra Leone. And in the time I could come, the country was in turmoil. I was chasing my own dreams. But I always said, if I go to Sierra Leone one day, I'm going to make a mark. Because my mom used to always say to me, as I told you before, no, no going to have somebody you know with you with too long arm. You have to take something. So I'm very thankful that my career and my presence has uh, afforded me and my family and my wife the ability to come back to Sierra Leone with something. It's been a long-awaited trip to Sierra Leone. I could feel the burning desire on your part to come back home. And I'm pleased, on behalf of the people of this country, to welcome you and your lovely wife to Sierra Leone.